This Friday at 5pm we'll see a large amount of men and women in their mid-twenties to early thirties tuning into CBBC for the first time in years. I mean, it will genuinely look like that scene from Elf when I'm tuning in. Tracy Beaker was once one of the most iconic characters to ever grace British children's television. Whilst the show was never my style, I have to admit that her irritating characteristics and misbehaviours, especially during the return, because I'm difficult and I've got behavioural problems, were rather endearing, so much so that you would be hard pushed to find a British person who does not recognise her name. And if you had thick, brown curly hair during the early 2000s, then you most definitely had to deal with the burden of being called Tracy Beaker every day on the playground. Starting as a series of children's books written by Jacqueline Wilson, the titular character was commissioned for her own show, The Story of Tracy Beaker, in 1991. Now the character is returning, 15 years after Rio's Maroon 5 CD vanished. Who's got my Maroon 5 CD? We know this thanks to Danny Harmer, who is clearly very attached to the role, since she has returned so frequently to it. She tweeted out a link to the newly released trailer for the show, which revealed not only the existence of the sequel. I didn't know Tracy Beaker was coming back! We feel terrible about bringing her back. But the fact that she was going to come face to face with Justine Littlewood, her former arch nemesis. The only thing there is certain about this show is that the conflict between Tracy and Justine will continue, but now with slightly higher stakes, and I imagine that their disagreements will be even more petty than before. But mostly I'm concerned for the daughter of Tracy Beaker, if she reacts to situations in a similar way to how she did in Tracy Beaker Returns. Hello. Tracy's upstairs. You gotta say hello. Why does everyone keep on going on about Tracy? Sorry. He's I thought coming. you two were mates. So did I, until she left and forgot all about me. Then God help her. Jacqueline Wilson presumably didn't want her to be as hot-headed as she was. Even as a kid, I realised that Tracy had an incredibly bad attitude. She's not exactly a role model, is she? What fascinates me most is that this is only going to be a three-part series. That's basically an unknown commission for the CBBC. They usually want content that is shorter and easy to distribute to children. But this show will air in its entirety over a long weekend, from Friday to Sunday. Almost as though they are doing this series purely out of love, which is a great sign, admittedly. What I do worry about is the Lizzie McGuire problem. A few years back, Hilary Duff announced that she would be returning to the role and would star in a sequel to the show that would feature more adult issues and storylines, with one storyline, I believe, including a condom breaking and Lizzie finding herself suddenly pregnant. Guess who got the money, honey? The producers of the show disagreed with portraying Lizzie in a way that would actually mirror the same issues that many adults experience, and instead opted for a less honest approach, which Hilary Duff thankfully acknowledged was dumb, so walked away from the project at the last minute. Screw Disney. Sometimes they make awful decisions. I'm the mascot of an evil corporation! <laughs> of course, a major worry for the show was when it was rumoured to exist months ago, they planned to recast some of the main characters. It would not be the same without the original Justine and, more importantly, the original Cam. But, good news, Lisa Coleman will be returning as Cam. I mean, Tracy Beaker has already lost one mum, she doesn't need to lose another. That was terrible. I'm sorry. I know she's fictional, but it still feels bad. You can't bully a fictional orphan. Plus, Cam features rather heavily in the book, so it was necessary to get the original actor back. Years ago, it wouldn't have mattered, but now, with the MCU being so successful, the movie and television industries have realised that their product will not pass if they recast. Not all of this is a poem, by the way. A big question on everybody's mind is, who is the father? of Tracy Beaker's child. Well, this is no surprise. Jacqueline Wilson did write it after all. She has serious issues when it comes to giving the character two functioning, loving parents. In this universe, the TBEU, Tracy Beaker Extended Universe, you are either a single parent or a runaway parent. There is no alternative. Now, if you think that I'm kidding about the TBEU, then know this. 
There is the story of Tracy Beaker, the original series. Then there was Tracy Beaker Returns. Then there was The Dumping Ground. And the movie, The Tracy Beaker Survival Files, The Dumping Ground Survival Files, Liam's story, The Dumping Ground Dish Up, The Dumping Ground I'm, Sasha's Contact Meetings. It's too much. There's too many shows. How much does a world in which an orphan has a terrible attitude need to be explored? Oh, and did I mention that they made a musical adaptation? <laughs> If any of you haven't read the book, then I would recommend it. I gave it a read whilst preparing for this, and it's rather fascinating to see Tracy struggling, despite the fact that she has the one thing she ever dreamed of. She is a mother. A good mother. A mother that sticks around. I mean, since her daughter Jess is 12, the series would have to be set in 2023. I think I could play... Santa Claus. <laughs> if it was going to remain consistent with the TBEU. Because if it is set anytime soon, everybody will be masked up. <laughs> and very, very miserable and just wanted to get out of this lockdown because he's really, really tired. Sorry, I got distracted. The issue with this attempt to recapture interest with nostalgia is this. People will only tune in for the first episode. It'll be out of interest. They will watch the second episode at most. I know this because I fell into the same trap with yeah. Raven's Home. Let me tell you something. Had my vision all worked out, but then life had other plans. I tuned in to see how the characters I knew so well were doing. Well, how Raven and Chelsea were doing. We're best not talking about why Eddie wasn't present. But after that, I was done. It's the pattern with these kind of shows. I mean, maybe if Corey shows up in an episode of Raven's Home, I'll tune in. He was robbed by that writer's strike in 2007. Corey in the house had serious potential. He is so affectionate. <laughs> he could lick my hand all day. But as I said, apart from the first and subsequent special episodes, nobody is going to tune in to Tracy Beaker is my mum. And I feel kind of bad about that. Just bug off! Yeah.